Surely no one would ever shoot a happy hippopotamus. But heaving a hippo into the water is a friendly gesture, and riding him may be more fun for him than for the rider. They're designed as floating water toys, but hippos prove to be hard to ride in these tests run by recreation experts. The hippo meat drew heavy gunfire from Greg Bjorndahl. Take your mark. Hippos weren't the only animals here. Children were guinea pigs helping try out the new toy. The falling offs were frequent in the Rancho Alamitas High School swimming pool, supervised by the Parks and Recreation Department for the city of Garden Grove. The animals are being donated to the city pools in gratitude for this test as young learners handled the hippos with a live audience watching. When it gave birth to the hippo, the Skill Development Equipment Company of Anaheim may have created a monster instead. Maybe it's floatable, but is it rideable? Older youngsters soon discovered it's fightable and combat began to break out. Just as in other kinds of warfare, it was hard to tell the winners from the losers. Most observers enjoyed the action without really appreciating the technology, the strange center of gravity shifts, causing upsets without warning. They hung out banners for their official hippopotamus meet, and they called this part of the struggle a hippo hunt. A girl reverse paddled for a fast retreat when two boys teamed up to spill her. It's an old familiar courtship maneuver among humans as well as hippopotamuses. One scientific fact emerged from these tests, Hippos ride best sitting backwards on them. The crowd enjoyed the rider's skill, but many onlookers were prejudiced by being parents. To any impartial observer, it was not the riders who made the biggest splash. Untamed, not to be ridden like a mere horse, they ruled the pool, those patient hippopotami. Ray Duncan, KNBC News.